Grace Walsh. And Bill Walsh. Okay. Selected you guys as the Valentine's couple. So why don't you tell me how you guys actually started the dating? Well, actually it was 30 years ago today was when the icebreaker came. We worked in the same building and we used to see each other at coffee break up in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. And as fate would have it, um, the blizzard of 78 came and it threw my plans off by a week and his plans off by a week and mm -hmm. we both wound up on the platform at the airport tea station. He was coming yeah. back from somewhere, I was dropping a friend off and we recognized each other so we kind of walked over to each other and started talking. And we rode the train together a few yeah. stops. He got off the government center and went home and I went on to work. And that kind of broke the ice. So the next day of work was Valentine's Day. And we went up to coffee break. And he, as soon as I sat down with my coffee and my coworker, he got up and started making the rounds to all the tables on the way to my table. He had a bag of conversation hearts that he was passing out to all the girls along the way. But I couldn't make it obvious. <laughs> Intention was, so I was kind of shy, but so I figured I'd give it to all the, the ladies at the table. Did you have a special one for her? Uh, I picked it, yeah. but oh, okay. I don't really remember what it said. But um, did you what, really know what he was up to? No. Oh, you didn't. Okay. Well, I kind of saw him coming, and I kind of, you know, how you're thinking, oh my God, and, you know. I was 22. I was young. Yeah. But I used to see him sit with all the guys in the three-piece suits, the auditors, and, you know, I had my sights on them. <laughs> oh, that's great. So now, did you both have crushes on each other at the same time? Was that it? And I was kind of watching him. I don't know. Yeah. Are you watching me? Yeah. Oh, I was, I was watching you uh, <laughs> some time before. I was only in the building 20% of the time. I traveled 80% of the time. But whenever I went on break or lunch, if she was up there, that, that drew my attention. And oh. uh, my, my co-worker would always say, jailbait. <laughs> She's jailbait. Because I look so young at 22. Oh, <laughs> you still do look young. Yeah. Thank you. Really you. do. I told her to buy a bail bond insurance. Which Did you? Nice. <laughs> you check that out, huh? I love it. I love it. Okay, so how did the first date come to be? Well, the day, the next day, it was... A couple of days later. It two was days later. Two days later. It was Friday, <laughs> and I left coffee break. I was walking back to the elevator, and he caught up to me, and he just made small talk, and he said, would you like to go off coffee after work? And I said, well, I have a hair appointment in Harvard Square. He said, well, mm -hmm. I'll drive you if you want, because in those days you drove into work. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. So he drove me to Harvard Square, mm -hmm. and he said he'll be waiting across the street at 33 Dunster Street. And what did I like to drink? He'd buy me a drink when I came out. And I think I said, um, Bass. Actually, um, Heineken. A Heineken. Oh, my gosh. Heineken. Oh, I love you remember it. <laughs> I had a Molson. She had a Heineken. Oh, it was a Heineken. And I, it took me a long time. It was like an hour later I came out. And when I walked in, he caught my eye and he caught the waiter's eye at the same time. By the time I sat at the table, the way to put my drink in front of me. So I thought, oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So that was really our first aid, and we just started going out. and. That is wonderful. Yeah. How long before you guys got married? Two years two later. Years. Okay, see where she is. And now, so you've actually been together 30 years now? 30 years. Today is our first oh. time we really talked. Yeah. That is fantastic. On the platform. <laughs> well, happy anniversary. Thank you. <laughs> that's so great. I think that's the best story. What do you think made, made your marriage last? Well, it wasn't without its share of ups and downs like everybody else, but the key, I think, is communication. You mm -hmm. know, if you're not in a good mood, say I'm not in a good mood. If you don't mm -hmm. want to go somewhere, say I don't want to go somewhere. If you... You know, whatever's on your mind, speak mm -hmm. it. You know, honesty, yeah. not only for your partner, but for yourself. You know, the right. old adage, to thine own self, be true. This is the one everybody always I was going to say it's the three C's. Communication. Personality. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 Communication, compromise, and a cold drink. 
Oh, oh. I like that. You have two children. Yes. You have two children. All right. And what are their names again? That's this. Bill Jr. He's yeah. 20. He turned 27 New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And Jesse is 25. 20. Well, again, happy mm -hmm. Valentine's Day. You guys are yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to show you one thing. Oh, what? Showed up at my desk today. He left me a chocolate. Oh. And I looked at it and I kind of frowned because every single year he's left conversation on to my desk since that first date. Oh. So when I picked it up, I was going to say to him, that's not a conversation art. I love it. He taped him on the back. <laughs> so 30 years later, I'm still getting my conversation hearts.